We have managed to conceive a simple system that allows its installation in any geographical region, in any climatic condition or any kind of topography. It demands neither conventional nor alternative energies to work. It doesn't require expensive maintenance and its lifespan goes over seven decades. This system of atmospheric humidity condensation can produce potable water. How much water will depend on the environmental conditions where it is installed, but our analysis and lab tests throw promising numbers indicating that the system can produce around 45,000 liters of water per day in areas with a high relative humidity. The wind that blows over the head of the tower generates a void inside the system which causes the suction of air at natural ground level where it is usually loaded with humidity. This mass of wet warm air enters through the suction nozzles located at a considerable distance from the condensation nucleus. The air that enters is redirected through some well-dimensioned pipes located underground which will gradually cool it off before reaching the condensation nucleus. During this process, the pipes drastically reduce in size, which increases the speed of the mass of air. So when it enters the condensation chamber, the air expands instantly, cooling it off even more, thus losing its ability to hold the humidity particles. This physical transformation that reaches viewpoint in an artificial way generates a natural precipitation inside the chamber. On the other hand, residual moisture is condensed in the walls of the crystal nucleus. 60 panels with a total area of 450 square meters are part of a system designed to achieve the ionization of suspended particles in the mass of air. Inside the chamber, a cold and turbulent environment swirls 40 meters upwards by the center of the tower, passing through a series of compression and condensation cones that extract the particles of residual moisture by thermal difference. This system is designed so once started, it will close a cycle of the air cinematic force that would be impossible to stop unless the suction nozzles are blocked. In this way, the system starts to generate water second by second during 24 hours per day. The draining water is conducted through activated carbon filters and UV filters to a pipe leading to an underground deposit. This is a hermetic chamber that guards against trespassing and vandalism. It can hold 40,000 liters in each underground system and the water can be pumped up using windmills, electric pumps or manually. 